game number one. You know it's a shame they banned it on mobile. And when I first landed, I immediately found my first problem. Auto pickup was on, and I tried to turn it off, but it didn't work at all. And after that, I immediately found my second problem. The inventory slots are reversed, and so was the remote. And I don't know if you play on controller or not, but I'm going to show a picture on screen. There's this little button on top of the triggers that helps you switch. And I had to learn it the hard way on game number two or three. But enough talking about game number two or three. Let's talk about game number one. And I found this guy over here. And since it wasn't on remote, I still killed him. But it was on both. You can't really tell, but I was struggling to see how to reload. Damn it, where's the button? You gotta press... Fuck. Oh. Oh. There. But after that, I still died. But I got this other kill. And I don't know if you could tell from the first clip, but I zoomed in, and there was this guy camping in the bush, shooting at me. You sly dog! You got me monologuing! I can't believe <laughs> But on game two, I finally connected the controller, and it was not as expected, because it kept on stick drifting. But if you can't tell right now, I was trying to get used to the bad control quality. But when I finally landed... It was not as I expected. It felt like a baby chewing the ankle of a dog just dying on the remote. I was going to get used to it. But anyways, I found this guy landing in. I thought I could go for the kill. He jumped off the building, but as you can tell, I wasn't very good at the game. And you can see because I was literally picking everything else up that I wanted to. But in the end of the day, I still got it. But the problem set in because I found an actual enemy that was actually good at the game. So I started to quickly die. After that, I chased him and I found him finding another guy, but he quickly bailed, so I did too. And my controller was stick drifting and I was lagging. Run the fuck away. But yeah, that's me. 12 year old boy has a little spoon screaming at his phone and his remote. And when I was running away, he got killed and I tried to shoot through the gate. But I ran out of ammo and I died trying to get the chest. No, 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 oh, you mother. And except for the lagging and other stuff, this game was pretty much like normal. Spoiler alert, this was my first time playing Season 3. So I will or will not probably be coming out to the Season 3 reveal trailer. I've been trying to avoid spoilers as much as I can. I haven't seen anything, but... Please ignore what the fuck I just did earlier. But also, I am still going through some of the scripts of nightclub episode one two and three so just bear with me and uh don't track my ip address and torture me until i release it and anyways that was the quick channel update oh yeah one more thing i promise um i will be leaving the link in the description so you could play fortnite on mobile you need to make an xbox account but that's it but enough talking about the channel I finally went into the cave to see what was going on with the big pink ass teddy bear on the front. And I just realized this is a rave cave. And it looks like some Ray William Johnson shit. But after that, I went to the dance floor. And after that, I definitely became the DJ for a little bit. <laughs> but after that, nothing much really happened. Except for that my game froze and crashed. For like two minutes. What the fuck is this?